With the latest patch, we got the 120Hz option back in Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. But to be honest, this is not the reason why I'm so excited about this update. So hello my friends and welcome to a very quick video on the latest patch for Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. And again, 120Hz mode is back in the game, but this is not the highlight from this patch. So let's start from the very beginning. Let's just get this menu and at the moment I'm playing in 60 Hertz so I can show you what Insomniac or Sony did actually so if you go to visuals you can have now or you can change now or toggle on your 120 Hertz mode so let's just do this okay so very very easy you can see 120 Hertz and at the moment I'm running in a performance mode so which means 60 FPS and 120 hertz which gives us a much lower input lag and uh, in terms of the motion um, yeah, clearness from the screen a little bit of a better picture but this is really not the highlight because what I found and what I read online when you change now to the fidelity mode they increased actually the frames by 10 frames per second to 40 frames per second and this is a big big difference I don't like 30 FPS games at all because of the stuttering or because of the yeah, motion blur and, and everything is just blurry and I don't like it. But it is amazing how much difference 10 FPS, this is just, it's just 10, 10 FPS more. I'm very excited, I'm very, very excited. But this is more than playable, absolutely playable now. Wow, this is, this is 40 FPS. Have a look here. It's still, of course, compared to 60 FPS, it's still a little bit blurry. But I will show you in a second 30 FPS. So let's just switch back. And all what we have to do is actually turn this off. And now we have 30 FPS back and I'm trying to do the same speed. Can you see the difference? And I'm talking about uh, what I don't like in 30 FPS is this double edges what you see when you turn the picture. Just focus a little bit. Can you see what I mean? The whole picture is really stuttering, stuttering. So when we compare this to 40 FPS and of course 120 Hertz, then we don't have this. It's still visible but very minor and of course it's a combination about fps and higher refresh rate but it's mainly the fps of course because now with 10 fps more the whole picture it's so much smoother i love it i just love it really thank you sony thank you insomniac this is just a hell of an update really okay so again i just like to make a very quick video on this um it is it is just great. It is just great. 40 FPS. And by the way, so 40 FPS, 120 Hertz is working perfect because we don't have any tiering, nothing at all, because 40 fits perfect in 120. So we can do this and it's working perfect. And if you just consider maybe in the future, we can have more games with 40 FPS because the, oh my God, this is so much better. Really. I'm wow. And you know what I mean? This is just Wow, I have no idea how I can record this with my Elgato card because they're just accepting 60 Hertz actually. Uh, not entirely true, but then I need to reduce the um, resolution. But anyway, this is wow. This is so crazy playable. Of course, still, I mean, there is still a difference between 60 and 40 FPS. Absolutely. Yeah, I can, I can, I can feel it. It's with input and whatever, you know, it is just better. But there's also the, the point now where I have to consider the better resolution, better graphic over the performance, over 20 FPS more. Because now, to be very honest, um, it is not that easy anymore. I wouldn't say that the performance mode now is the way to go, to be very honest, because the resolution difference, the um, yeah, graphical visual differences between the fidelity mode and performance mode are sometimes very, very big in terms of resolution because, just correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we had a native 4K dynamic resolution, of course, but a native 4K 
resolution in the fidelity mode and you can see this on objects they get there's um they're much clearer less alazing and so on and so on so at this very moment i have to yeah review my first impression from the game completely because now i would actually after playing this for maybe 10 minutes i would actually recommend to play the fidelity mode in 120 hertz that's the way to go really Okay, so that's just a very quick video about the latest patch and again, make sure, of course, you need to have a 120 hertz display and also make sure that in your settings you actually have, where are we? Not here, we are here, that enable 120 hertz output is select to or is set to automatic, otherwise it will not work, of course, okay? So this is all what you have to consider and then you're, you're good to go. The fidelity mode is just just perfect at the moment it's still again difference to 60 fps but when i compare this now with let's do it again 30 fps no this is a big big difference i i'm not able to play like this not at all because i will get motion sickness whatever this is just not playable for me but 40 fps it is such a big difference this is wow and again just consider we have games in the future instead of 30 FPS with 40 FPS. And again, I come, I, oh, I'm so excited really, but I already tried to explain this. 30 FPS, that doesn't mean that this game is not able to render certain levels, whatever, with a much higher uh, frame rate. That's why we actually need VRR, you know, that's why we need it. But in this case, you know, it looks like this game is, or the PlayStation 5 is, is capable of rendering this game in 40 fps of course i not sure about other levels or whatever we have to wait for digital foundry probably they will do a very good analyze video on this i'm pretty sure but this again this is just great okay anyway so that's enough for this video i love it i just love it i like to see more updates like this i'm wow again wow okay make sure you update the game as soon as possible Get into the game again and tell me what you think about the new option 120 hertz plus 40 fps because that's actually the highlight the highlight is not the 120 hertz option the highlight is the 40 fps option what we have now thank you very much for watching me i see you guys next time bye